Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to talk about ingress controllers and specifically nginx ingress controllers. So before we start, let me tell you what is an ingress controller and why would you use it. So just select the pin, right? So if you remember, uh, whenever we were uh, using our Kubernetes services to expose the services outside, we were using the node port services, right? Node port. All right, but the, what they were doing is they were giving you an IP address followed by some random port, right? And this is what you would give to your end user to access it outside of your cluster, right? This is fine for internal use. I mean, if you have an internal team, if they want to access any service with IP and port, good enough. But this thing you can't provide to your external users, right? So for external user would expect external user would expect some kind of a dns name right dns to access the service outside right say something like www.google.com for example right so google doesn't give you an ip or port to access it right it gives you a dns name something similar would be expected out of you so in order to achieve that you would need some kind of proxy right some kind of proxy that you would put in front of your node port service. Let's just call it node port service. And this would actually proxy any request coming on port 8443 or whatever your service runs on and then redirect it to the random port which uh, is given by the node port service, right? So let me just get rid of this. All right, all right, let me clear. Okay, so to achieve that, what Kubernetes gave Kubernetes gives you is something called ingress. And ingress is by default, I mean, it does not come to the cluster. So you actually have to deploy an ingress controller, it's just like your API controller or your schedulers, right? So you actually have to deploy an ingress controller and then build your ingress resources. So in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to deploy an ingress controller and just call it IC, which will be an Nginx ingress controller. So there are multiple Nginx, Nginx controllers present just like the network controllers. So as you know that you have a lot of options when you are deploying a network plugin like Calico, Flannel, Weavenet, right? So in the similar way, you have multiple options to deploy uh, an ingress controller. So what we are going to use is Nginx controller. Uh, I mean, I've seen most of the people using Nginx controller because it's easy to deploy and easy to troubleshoot. And uh, I mean, in some way, the companies which are exclusively running their uh, uh, workloads on Kubernetes, you would see traffic. Traffic is one of the more uh, popular uh, ingress controllers. So in this video, we are going to do just Nginx, right? So let me just clear this, All right? And this is the documentation page, as you can see on the screen. And this is what we are going to do uh, to deploy our Nginx ingress controller. So now let's go to our Kubernetes cluster and start deploying, right? Also, before going to the cluster, I would like to mention that you can do path-based uh, uh, routing and uh, host-based routing using Nginx controllers. So path-based means something, say, suppose you deploy a two version of a service, say V1. Okay, let me just, okay, select the pen. Yeah, so suppose you have, say, xyz.com backslash V1 and similarly xyz.com slash v2 so you can put put these both the services behind an nginx controller and do path based routing so suppose if you want to redirect some portion of your uh, incoming request to v service v1 and you want to redirect some portion of your uh, request to service v2 so you can do that also you can do host based routing so suppose you have say abc.xyz.com and say def dot xyz dot com so you can do this kind of routing as well so you can redirect to different hosts right so these services can be pointing to different hosts so like okay so like i've told you we'll be deploying an nginx controller and then we'll be building the 
ingress sorry ingress controller um, just getting a little confused nginx and ingress right so let's just get rid of this okay so yeah so we'll be building an nginx ingress controller right and then we'll be building our resources so for resources what we are going to do is we are going to build two services two services and we'll put those services behind our ingress ingress right so let's see how we can do that now we can go to our cluster so all right now let's start so i have actually accessed my kubernetes master so now what we are going to do is simply copy and paste all these commands and deploy our ingress controller, Nginx ingress controller. So this is quite a mouthful actually. So let's just get clone this. All right, let's cd into the deployments directory and then check out a branch. All right, I'm gonna clear the screen. Now we'll configure some roles and uh, namespaces. So first is we are going to create a namespace. Let's just copy this. You can see it created a new namespace, Nginx Ingress, and it also created a service account. Now let's create cluster roles and role bindings. So you actually don't need to, you can automate this process very easily because all the steps are uh, here. So you can simply just automate this using a shell script or maybe a Python script, whatever you feel like. We'll just copy and paste, take it slow. All right, now let's create some common resources and you don't actually need to understand what exactly it's doing because these are some internals of the ingress itself, right? You just need to do. What you should be concerned with is the ingress resources. So that is something you actually need to take care of. We'll just quickly create all this stuff. Right, some warning, we can create virtual, some virtual servers. Someone just unlocked their car right behind me. You just need to make sure that you are not seeing any errors while doing this. Let me clear the screen again. Something related to Nginx app, app protect, so let's do that as well. Although we will probably not need it, but <coughs> right. So now it's time to deploy the ingress controller. So this is an important step. So it will give you actually two choices, whether you want to deploy it as a deployment or you want to deploy it as a daemon set. So I'm going to deploy it as a daemon set. So I mean, it will make sure that there's at least one uh, pod running on one uh, each node, right? You can deploy it as a, a deployment as well. So that's, that's a personal choice actually. So I would prefer a daemon set. All right, created. Now let's see if our ingress is running. Ingress controller. So you can see containers are creating. So we'll just wait for some time. And then what we are going to do is we are going to create 
a service, a node port service uh, for our ingress controller. So that when we put different services behind uh, our ingress, we'll have an endpoint to access those, right? So let's just see if this is running. So these are running, you can see our controller is deployed at this point. So you have successfully deployed Nginx ingress controller. Now let's expose it. So let's just copy this. Deploy this. Now if we do kubectl get svc hyphen hyphen name base is equal to nginx ingress. So you would have an ing nginx ingress node port service, and this is the IP which you can use to access all your services which you put behind it, right? All right. So now we have successfully deployed our uh, nginx controller or ingress nginx ingress controller ingress controller right so this is quite a mouthful so please bear with me nginx ingress controller cool so now what i've done is i've actually got a couple of files over here so you can see these are uh, okay no, not here let me just cd out so i'll do so there's two services which i have uh, apple and banana so if you'll just google it you'll find these services i mean people have done this right so there are two services they are using the hashicorp image and it's doing nothing it will just echo the fruit name uh, the apple service will echo out the apple and the banana service would echo out banana so i'm going to create these services and put them behind uh, our nginx control uh, ingress controller right as an ingress resource so there are a few terms going in here so just don't get confused ingress controller you don't need to worry about probably anywhere you go work for to work or uh, as a project uh, for project they would have some ingress controller already running maybe it can be traffic nginx anything it's a proxy so you need to worry about the nginx uh, ingress resources so don't worry about the controller worry about the resources right and these are the resources which we are going to create now so now let's just quickly do kubectl apply nef apple so this created a pod and service and similar way let's do banana so now we have two services running kubectl get spc so we have two services running and if we just do curl on 567 Eight, you see it. It returning. It's returning me Apple, right? The fruit name. Cool. Now let me just clear the screen, and I have another file over here already created. So I created this before the demo, and this is going to actually create my ingress resource. So you can see the file uh, API version kind is ingress name of the ingress resource annotation. And then comes the rules. So rules are the important part over here, right? So in this case, I'm doing part based routing. So I'm saying that slash Apple should go to the backend service, Apple service on port 5678. And similarly, slash banana service should go to the service name banana service on 5678. So, and as you know that I already have kubectl get SVC, both these services. Apple service and banana service already running, right? So now let's just do kubectl apply hyphen f ing.yaml. And you can see there's a warning, but it says ingress extension example ingress is configured. So if we do kubectl get ingress, you can see the example ingress is created for all hosts and ports, right? So now let me just go back a little and get the IP of our Nginx ingress. And if we do curl on this IP, or rather let me just give it complete HTTP and everything, curl hyphen K I HTTPS, colon, colon. and 
let's say apple so I'm getting a 404 so actually I know why I'm getting a 404 this is some kind of bug in the ingress controller nginx ingress controller and there are issues already uh, raised in github uh, for this so for some reason uh, this is showing me 404 but ideally uh, we have done everything right over here so we have created the nginx controller we have created the resource we have created our ingress resource and we put both the resources behind those uh, behind that ingress resource so ideally this should have given us the, uh, the service which we wanted to access but due to some bug in the ingress controller itself uh, it's giving me 404 so probably i'll create another video uh, with the resolution of this so why i'm getting 404 right and then probably in that i can show you how to i mean in case you get 404 then probably how to troubleshoot that right so but for this video i think i'll, I'll keep it to the to this point uh, so we've done everything correctly so we've deployed the nginx controller we've deployed the resources and everything looks great everything looks fine and it's it should be working right so i hope this you found this video helpful please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and yep thank you for watching and please do comment uh, if you i mean if you were able to figure out what was the issue right so please do comment in the comment section okay uh, okay thank you